Hello and welcome to A Sunny Book Nook. Today I'm gonna to be doing something a little different in that I'm gonna be doing a vlog, hopefully, if this all works out, um, because I really like watching other people's vlogs, but I just always thought, yeah, I don't wanna do that. But reading vlogs seem really fun and they seem like a good way to keep myself accountable to the reading goals that I have. So I think that I'm gonna to try to do that for the rest of October because I there's like, less than two weeks left of uh, the month of October and I have a couple of spooky books that I want to get read before like October 31st definitively. Obviously I can't like carry around my big like DSLR which I normally film on so you're gonna have to deal with like the iPhone quality so yeah hopefully that doesn't that's not too off-putting. Today I think I'm gonna try to film maybe I don't know, maybe I might do a read with me because I need to finish this other book before I can start physically reading these other books, if that makes sense. So yeah, I'm gonna do my makeup and I'll, I might do a time lapse of this. <laughs> you know, who, who knows? We'll see, we'll see, you know? So this is the book that I need to finish before I can head on to the more horror-y books that I'll tell you about later. And this is a collection of short stories written by a bunch of different authors. It's like speculative fiction, sci-fi type of stuff. And yeah, I'm like maybe a third of the way through and I, I just gotta finish it, really. <laughs> um, so I'll keep you updated. I'm gonna try to read this. And then I might go get dinner and then read it again. Yeah, mm, hopefully that's the plan. <laughs> Good morning. It is the next day. <laughs> um, and yesterday I managed to read about half, I don't know if you can tell. Yeah, there we are, about half of Future Tense Fiction. And I want to finish this book today. So hopefully that will happen. And I am waiting for my laundry to be done and I'm also waiting to get COVID tested before I go out for that, which will probably be in like mm -hmm, 40 minutes or so. So between now and before I leave, I'm gonna do some reading, so. Okay, so I think I've gotten through a little bit more than two thirds of the book now, woohoo! So it looks like I am realistically going to finish this today, so. But um, now I need to go do my laundry and I also need to upload a YouTube video <laughs> that is already out at this point, obviously. Um, I just gotta press the upload button and then I think I'm gonna go get tested and grab dinner. Wait, no, not dinner, lunch. Um, I might bring the book with me and read while eating a little. Um, a classic multitasking action there. Okay, so I started another book on audio uh, called Revenge by Yoko Ogawa, which is a short story collection that I think Alicia Reads recommended in one of her videos. Um, and I'm almost done with it. I've just been listening to it as I've been doing errands and stuff. So it's like a collection of short stories that are kind of loosely connected together. Like there are some kind of recurring characters and stuff. And it's really interesting. I mean, it's like technically, I guess, horror, um, but it feels more like literary fiction. It doesn't really feel like scary at all it's just kind of like you know some of these things are un like unsettling and creepy a bit which i really enjoy um and i i've liked yoko ogawa's other work the stuff that i've read of hers it's usually very like sparse and not particularly action-packed or anything and yeah, it's more like meditative. I'm also with that. I think I'm gonna, you know, watch some booktube videos. I'm watching Mina Reads right now. <laughs> um, she's talking about adult fantasy book recommendations. Hopefully by the end of the day, I will have finished Revenge and I will have finished um, Future Tense Fiction. I'm sorry, I lied. <laughs> I was not able to finish. Uh oh shit, my eyes bloodshot. Yeah, so I didn't finish Future Tense Fiction before the end of today because it is 12.30. Um, so yeah, I only have one story left though. Like, isn't that 
isn't that wild. I have such little of this left and I hope that before I fall asleep tonight I can finish this and that I can finish Monstrous by Marjorie Liu. I'm reading this with some people um but I need to get to this like tonight or tomorrow because I think we're gonna do a book club talk about this soon. It looks beautiful. I've heard only good things but yeah. Here we go, we're gonna finish this anthology. And okay, by the way, so far, this is really, really, really good. I think basically every single story except one of them uh, so far has been phenomenal and really mind bendy and mind fucky in like a different way each time, which I really appreciate and I love. And I think all these different authors put together just like creating lots of story magic here for me to consume and enjoy and so far it's just so uh, there's so much wonderful like commentary obviously on like technology and how humans interact with technology and gender and systems of oppression and surveillance and government like it's i don't know and family and love like i think it just it talks about so many of these different things and all these different stories that have such cool premises <sighs> anyways yes time to finish this oh and also eat some snacks because i am hungry um, what am I going to eat? Flavor blasted Cheez-Its and um, some tea, probably. I just, I just boiled some water in my kettle. So here we go. Nice, oh, I just spilled some hot water onto my table. Um, okay, this is an Tea Pigs English Black Tea, I'm pretty sure. If I don't fall asleep before then, I will check in with you tonight about hopefully my finished books. <laughs> So it's the next day. I did not check in with you before I fell asleep because I was very tired. Um, and I finished Future Tense Fiction. It was really good. I read it five stars. Basically all the stories were just really, really interesting and phenomenal and great. And I'll talk more about it at the end of this video maybe or in like a wrap up, but yeah, I really enjoyed it. Um, I started Monstrous, but I only got through the first few pages because I was really tired. Um, and I'm almost done with Revenge by Yoko Ogawa. Um, so I think I'm going to finish that audiobook now as I drink my tea. Um, yeah. <laughs> so, oh, also I'm wearing these um, planet earrings. Love my lesbian dangly earrings. They're so, they just bring me so much joy. <laughs> um, yeah, currently watching my, um, you know, comfort. YouTube, Lala. <laughs> but yeah, I'm gonna listen to my audiobook and hopefully get that finished so I can finish slash start some more spooky books today. <laughs> finished Revenge by Yoko Ogawa. Rated it three stars. Thought it was pretty good. Um, didn't really think that it was anything too special really. Like it's it's something that's probably a little bit forgettable, for me at least. Um, I thought that the nuances of the creepiness were just a little, like they just kind of went over my head a little bit, I think. And um, yeah, so now I think I'm gonna go read Monstrous. But before I do that, I'm just gonna chill a little bit, keep watching Miss Lala, keep drinking my tea, you know, great. <laughs> Okay, so I just ate lunch and went and grabbed mail from the mail room um, and I'll show you what I was just doing. I got this like earring organizer stand thing and I was just, you know, clipping my earrings on. So there's that. And I also got um, a book in the mail and I think this was from a publisher or something like I think someone just sent me this um I think it's self-published I'm not really sure it's called After the Bombs Fell by Elizabeth Johanna so I'm gonna look up this author to figure out like who this is but I really just don't even remember how I got this book I know I definitely didn't buy it but like 
what I, I think I'm gonna read Monstrous a little bit. And oh, also something about this book is that like, I don't know if I can show you with one hand, but the text is really big. So I'm like, yeah, okay, this seems like something I can get through. And if it's really shitty, then haha. -ha. And if it's good, then nice. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna go read Monstrous hopefully try to finish it and then I'm gonna go to the grocery store <laughs> so I will see you then so I finished monstrous volume one and I thought it was really really good um, I really enjoyed it I thought that obviously the art is just absolutely stunning and the story was just very engrossing and immersive and for like with all kind of sci-fi things or like fantasy things like I did not know what was going on for like the first half <laughs> of the story but as I figured out more and more and learned more about the characters and the world and like the both visual and kind of textual world building it was more and more intriguing and yeah I think that this also has some interesting things to say I suppose about race and conflict and nationality and um, obviously like with most fantasy sci-fi stories it's an extended metaphor I suppose of kind of real world conflicts and as the back page this black flap talks about the author talks about kind of the basis of the story and like kind of the themes behind it um, being that of the kind the like torture and rape and occupation colonization of what happened in China and the rest of Asia during like World War II and um and its aftermath so yeah I think that this is really interesting this is really good I can't wait to get to see what happens next it's giving like kind of more grown-up like more spooky like queer like avatar meets like i don't even know like the poppy war maybe i feel like those are kind of the vibes it's giving me there are some really like scary visceral imagery that is like whoa that's stuff of nightmares <laughs> but I still think that it's like pretty clearly marketed towards like a young adult teen demographic so yeah um I liked it I think it's a four star for me and I'm gonna go update my goodreads <laughs> now that I finished this good morning um I actually don't know if it's still morning but I haven't been f vlogging for the past few days mostly because one i haven't been reading as much i just finished the book I just finished up an audiobook and i'm starting another one but other than that not really and it's not really like i've been reading that many spooky books either i'm just kind of in a bit of a fantasy mood so i read this christina henry book called black wings which i just finished now and i rated three stars um past few days have been kind of not great <laughs> so that's my excuse but we still have like six more days until the end of October and so yes I will be finishing some spooky books and that is a promise that is a guarantee not only will I be finishing some spooky books I will also be finishing some fantasy novels because that's just the vibes I'm having in this Halloween. I know like during Halloween season, October, people like to read, you know, dark academia. They like to read, you know, dark fantasy. They like to read paranormal romance. You know, there's so many ways that your reading taste could branch off during this wonderful month. So yeah, that's, this is the direction I'm going in. <laughs> I'll keep you updated in terms of what I'm reading and how much. And um, yeah. I've been reading via audiobook A Tale of Magic by Chris Colfer, and I'm nearly done with that. I think I'm gonna try to finish that tonight. Um, and after I finish that, I will be starting a new book. Yay! Because I have a, only a handful of days left for October, I think I'm gonna try to finish two books. And those two books are Braised Pork by Anne Yu and Catherine House by Elizabeth Thomas. These are both 
thriller, sp horror, spooky books that I've been looking forward to reading for months now at this point. And to tell you about what A Tale of Magic by Chris Colfer is about, it's like a fantasy middle grade novel set in like a once upon a time land in which magic is banned, not because it's like necessarily dangerous, but just because it's been stigmatized by the different rulers throughout history. And um, there's like good magic, people who do good magic, which is like fairies and like bad magic, who are witches. Uh, and there's this one fairy who like wants to help society accept the magical kids instead of like killing them um, or ostracizing them. And so she tries to start a magical school and it's basically about that, but there's also like a warring situation going on. Um, yeah, so I am like 75% done with that and tonight I will finish it. And then when I finish it, I'll check in with you on like how, what I thought, how, how I, how I read it. Um, I think right now it's like a three star book for me. You know, your typical kind of magical fantasy middle grade, maybe even 3.5 stars because it is really good in some regards, but I think it's a bit heavy handed and like too on the nose for some of the metaphors going on. Um, maybe I would feel differently about this if I was like the target age demographic of middle school books uh, or middle grade books, but alas. Um, <laughs> I just think I've read books that try to do what this author is doing in a better way. Also, this author was on Glee, I'm pretty sure. I I did not watch Glee, I don't watch Glee, um, <laughs> but don't come for me, I'm so sorry. Um, but I think Chris Colfer was someone there. I, he was either one of, an, he was either an actor or like was a writer there. But he also voices, like narrates his own audiobook for this book. And I think it's fine. Like I've definitely heard better. Okay. So yeah. Okay. Anyways, hopefully I can finish that tonight. I mean, actually I will. I'm manifesting it. I will finish it. Um, and then hopefully I can start this and maybe get to, I think my goal is going to be to get through like halfway of this by sometime either like tomorrow or something like, so I can just finish this within the next two days so that then I can start this book. Yay! I also think I'm doing like a buddy read with one of my friends uh, of another book, but we don't really know. We don't have set dates or anything for that yet. And when I do get more information on that, I will, and hopefully within the, if it's within the span of this like vlog time period, then I'll let you know. Because the book that we picked out today at the bookstore in the used book section was, you know, well, yeah, they happen to have two copies of it, which is great. And the cover is really cool. And um, yeah, I'll show you it if we get to it. But yeah, I'm gonna go read now. I finished um, the book. Why am I forgetting the name of that? The name of it. Okay, regardless, I finished that Cole Coulter book. Wait, is that even his name? Wow, I'm so bad at remembering like fictional character book titles and like their authors. I finished that, gave it three stars. I thought that it was like pretty fine as a middle grade fantasy novel. Like the characters were cute. The magic system was fine. The world building was fine. And I think that like the plot twists at the end were pretty good. Um, they kind of took me by surprise, um, but they did end up like they did make sense for the story and I would definitely recommend it to middle grade readers and um, I think that it also has these themes of accepting yourself regardless of um, structural oppressions that are constructed by the world and uh, specifically like gender and I think the whole book is really an analogy for, I mean, different marginalized groups in general, um, but I think probably in particular, like gender and sexuality and like coming out and being your true self with the metaphor being like magic and children and people being targeted and for showing magical capabilities. So yeah. I thought it was like a mediocre book, <laughs> honestly. I think that TJ Klune's House in the Julian Sea, which is over there, but I'm not gonna go get it, uh, kind of does what this book tried to do, but better? But maybe it's because 
TJ Klune wasn't necessarily writing for a middle grade audience. So yeah, um, those are my thoughts on that. <laughs> I think I'm going to start um, physically reading another book. However, to be honest, I kind of don't want to read the spooky books I was talking about earlier because the book that we picked out for a buddy read is sound, it's looking pretty good to be honest like it's it seems like a really cool read. I if I might read that but who knows um I'll let you know if I figure it out but right now I think I'm gonna go catch up on some book too. <laughs> and um I did not do any readings. I just well, I did I did my reading for class, but I didn't like read book. And I think that maybe that is okay. Maybe that is okay. Um, while I go brush my teeth and get ready for bed, I think I'm gonna start listening to an audiobook. The audiobook version of Braised Pork by Anu, if I can find it. I think I have a save and scribd. I'm not sure though. Hopefully I do. I'll probably check in with you tomorrow on the whole reading situation, but uh, good night to me, I guess. Good morning. Last night, I started reading Ray's Pork by Anne Yu. I realized that I thought this book was like a thriller type thing. It's not. It is like, the premise is that this lady walks in and she sees that her husband is dead but it's not really like spooky in any way. It's kind of just reading like literary fiction. And that's fine, like I, I like that, but I want a spooky read. So I think I'm gonna put this on the back burner for now and get to this in November, hopefully. You know, like next month. Last night, I started reading the beginning of Paulina and Fran by Rachel B. I think Glazer, Glazer, Dil I don't know what that letter is in, in cursive um but yeah me and my friend are buddy reading this and um this is the book i was talking about last night it's about it's okay the back says at an elite new england art school two young women collide paulina is a sexually adventurous wannabe queen bee with a devastating mean girl streak fran is a gifted yet reluctant painter with gorgeous curly hair and uncertain dreams so yeah basically it's giving it's giving coming of age, it's giving adolescence, well, not really adolescence, it's giving like maybe homoeroticism, because it says, on a trip to Norway, the two are drawn together, but as adult life encroaches, jealousy and unexpected love tears them apart. Which either mean it's gonna be like a fucking, uh, what's it fucking called? Love triangle, yeah, it's either gonna be a love triangle or like they fall in love, so we'll see. At least that's what I guess, that's what I'm assuming. Um, I've got, I went, I got through the first like couple pages of this. I'll keep you updated. So I finished The Ballad of Black Tom earlier today and I rated it three stars. I thought it was really interesting. I don't think it was fleshed out enough for me. I, I was still left with like a, huh, what is going on? Kind of feeling towards the end, but I think it's interesting what it was saying about um, kind of like in terms of playing with the setting and the time period. I don't know if my brain was big enough to understand that. But after I read The Ballad of Black Tom, I then read The Monster of Ellen Taven by Jennifer Geisbrecht. And I read this book 3.5 stars. I actually really enjoyed it. Um, it's this like dark fantasy revenge novel set in this like really dreary town and there's this kind of boss employee relationship between this monster and this accountant who like basically runs the town and he has like a dark history and a dark past and i thought that their relationship and their dynamic and also kind of like the world and the history and stuff was just really compelling and um very interesting so yeah like not, it wasn't compelling enough for it to be like four stars, but you know, not just three stars. So yeah, um, I think that I'm gonna try to read maybe the first couple chapters. Yeah, I'll keep you updated on what I continue to read. I think that I'm going to try to read Catherine House. I need to finish um, When No One Is Watching by Alyssa Cole. 
Uh, I've been meaning to finish that for like a month now at this point and that's like a thriller so that'll count for my spooky season situation. I think those are gonna be my priorities. Also sorry if you can hear like buzzing noises throughout this video, this vlog. It's just cause like my mini fridge and my heater and what just, you know, different different things making noises. Hello. So I think it's a couple days later from when I last checked in. However, I think I'm going to end the vlog here. Um, I didn't finish Catherine House and I didn't finish Braised Pork, which were the books that I wanted to finish, but it turned out that Braised Pork obviously wasn't like what I expected. And Catherine House, like, I just didn't, I, I don't have the time in the next two days or like, you know, a day ago, three days to like finish a whole novel. That's like that literary. So I'm just going to, I don't know, I'm gonna get to it eventually. I will, okay? <laughs> um, but I am currently reading Circe by Madeline Miller, which is really good so far. I'm like almost done with it. All in all, I think this October reading month has been pretty mediocre with like a couple standouts that are that were pretty good. And uh, yeah, thanks for coming along with me on this vlog. And let me know if you wanna see more content like this because I don't know, like, vlogs haven't really been my thing but maybe they could be if this is what you like yeah <laughs> hope you had a good or at least okay reading month this month as well and you know happy halloween or whatever <laughs> stay safe and i'll see you in my next video bye